Incredible alpine riding on top of the Canadian Rockies. But today we are staying well under the tree line for a quick spin through some epic single track. We are quite close to the Alaskan border this far north. And the event? It's Traction E-Rag's Grizzbait. Half the fun is simply the drive up to northern BC. Through towering mountains and tunnels through the avalanche areas. Meg's Brap has always lived in BC, but is still blown away by the beautiful countryside. Just look at it! Would you look at that? We've trailered the bikes up especially for this ride, and a few guys are exhausted just unloading them. There's almost a Romaniacs feel to the ride, with this bizarre section through an abandoned building. I'm the sweep rider and occasionally drop back so I can pick the speed up. used to trees being this close to the track, so I'm keen to get some practice in. Plenty of angled logs to practice the log hops, and even the magic balancing powers of the E-Rag 2-2 are being strained. The local riders who have generously volunteered to lead and sweep all our grizzbait rides have created almost 50 kilometres of this superb single track so far. And while it's flat, <laughs> there are plenty of things to mess you up fast. Half hidden tree roots keep throwing the tyres sideways. The mostly loamy soil has occasional slippery, muddy patches, and those trees are damn close. Here and there I can feel the bars brushing against the trees, and I'm very aware that clipping a tree could result into slamming head-on into the next one. And in fact, this did happen to one of our riders, who we took to hospital with a nasty concussion. More on that in a coming supporters vid. These grizzbait trips are well named. We did actually come across a grizzly's last meal. And this is what they call a bear meal. These don't appear to be the remains of a dirt rider, but you never know. We all resolve not to ride too slowly. First, I thought I was riding okay through this track, but later I tried to follow some local riders on this trail. One of the guys was on a four-stroke 450, and I simply couldn't keep up with him. I did find out later most of the local guys trim their handlebars down, so they are less likely to hit the trees. Oh, nice fill. But 
but I also noticed they weren't worried when tree roots briefly threw their tyres sideways. And I figured maybe it's a bit like soft sand riding. You just need to get comfortable with unexpected movements and let the bike do its thing. Anyway, there's a supporters vid coming soon that shows my attempts to fly through this terrain with the locals <laughs> uh, come on. and failing to stay with them for very long. Plenty more British Columbia dirt riding coming up. It's been so good to get back here after a two-year break.